is what I have on my bed in the morning. It's always very interesting. So I'm out the door. It's almost 6 o'clock. I'm headed to bed. About 929 miles. And a lot of storms in front of me. We'll see what happens. By Glen Helen, which is like an hour and a half outside of LA. It's called the, you know, and this is the beginning of how bad it's getting. Because, you know, before fuel, that place was looking very Haiti ish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Listening to Howard Stern. People getting together now to help raise money. And I can probably see about 25 yards ahead of me. And at this point, Earthquake We're doing about 60. It's slowed down. I'm having fun, but I'm expecting it to get rough. <laughs> Quick stop off in Las Vegas to see my boy Seamus. Spent about an hour and a half with him. Uh, haven't seen him for years and he's awesome. Looks like it's opened up. Saw a little bit of snow on the pass just coming into Vegas and uh, I'll show you some photos. Vegas, 
through St. George, Utah. I'm between uh, St. George and Cedar City in Utah right now. Three states into a uh, four-state journey. Devil's Canyon view area in Utah and the view is awesome. Look at these photos. We found some weather. I just hit like super dense fog. I can see, oh, I don't know, not too far. Say about 15, maybe 20 yards in front of me. A lot thicker than when I hit. Um, outside of California, it's sketchy. part of the drive in the most mountainous region comes in the last two hours so we'll see what happens I've chugged down two rock stars and a Red Bull and I'm exhausted <laughs> now the fun begins so far so good on the weather a few cloudy spots but at this point we're going to go all the way through. So it's official. I made it in 14 hours. That also included an hour and a half stop in Las Vegas to see Seamus. And I'm exhausted. Now we get to put together 
a slideshow of all the photos.